If these videos do well, or this video, I guess, does well, I think maybe I will do some more like this. Just let me know. Ooh, okay, here we go. Oh, wow. All right, guys, since I'm moving out, I won't be able to spend money recklessly like this. So, for a final hurrah, we're going to open this Topps Chrome Platinum Trading Card Box. It's the light version because I'm not dropping $150. But anyways, let's see what we get, and maybe I'll be able to pay off my rent. Who knows? Probably not, though. So anyways, we finally have it open, and um, I guess here we go. Let's read the back of the card first. Okay, um, scary odds, but anyways, uh, enjoy. All right, so nothing overly extraordinary from this first pack. We did get a nice Fergie Jenkins uh, insert, I believe it is. Uh, and we did get a Trey Ambergie, Ambergie, who knows? Uh, rookie card. So, uh, oh, we also got a Jake Myers rookie card. Hopefully there's more, um, more to happen in the, uh, pack that's coming. Okay, so second pack done. Absolutely nothing of value in this one. Or at least I don't think. At the end, I'll... Look through these, tally some stuff up, but yeah, I think we're uh I think we're kind of O for two right now. Alright, we're currently O for three. O for three. Batting zero. Beep, beep, beep. Baby, 0 for 4. Um, this appears to be a bad investment so far. Obviously, this is for fun. It's gambling for kids, but not not one cool thing yet. Not even a Dodger. Oh, here we go. Alex Kurloff. Kurloff? Uh, that's pretty sick. It's a nice looking card. Still don't believe it's going to be worth anything. Swish, 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 swish. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Let's just take a better look at this. Okay, well, I'm not sure if this is worth anything. I actually have no clue. I probably should have researched the pack before, but you know what? Let's let's sleeve this one and put it in a top loader real quick just to not mess it up if it is worth something. All right, so let's just put that right there for now. Anyway, so continue. <laughs> worth something we might be batting one for one for six i don't remember how much we're at now anyways here's some more packs all right currently batting zero again that's fine though this is fun no i love i love uh gambling i love spending my money on cards for no return And people do this consistently. Like, this is people's jobs. Ooh, that's a bad photo. I feel bad for him. That's a terrible photo. Ooh, we got a nice Gavin Lux. I like that card. Nice Gavin Lux. And then we got Rick Farrell. No relation to Will Farrell, at least I don't think. So, yeah, we got a nice Gavin Lux uh, Dodgers card, but still, in reality, nothing. Watch, this card is going to be worth like a million dollars and I have no idea. It's not going to be, but... All right, I feel this one. Let's give this one the power. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, here we go. Open and shut. The door is on the bus. Watch, I'm probably opening it incorrectly and all of you guys are yelling at me right now. But I don't know. 
I just like having fun. Ooh, we got a nice Kershaw. I like Kershaw. We got a Scott Rollin. It's a nice looking card, but I believe it's just an insert. I don't think it's worth much, if anything. Oh, actually, I should be looking at the back, shouldn't I? We got a nice 36 out of 75. So then I guess I got to go back and look in them. Did Babe Ruth have? Was Babe Ruth numbered? Babe Ruth was not numbered. Okay. Let's put it back there. Tony Perez. So I think it's just on the cool ones. But I'm surprised Babe Ruth's not numbered. And no more. No ma. No ma. They open and shut all day long. Ooh. We got a nice looking uh, Jim Palmer one. It's kind of like the Babe Ruth one. Once again, not numbered, but let's quickly just put this in a sleeve and a top loader. All right, and let's put that, oh, right beside each other. Okay, continuing, Steven Strasburg, and we got a Ken Griffey Jr. card. Okay, we don't have that many cards left. I think we have six. So hopefully we can pull something big. Actually, let's see, where's Autograph? Autograph. Okay, so black and white mini diamond, one for one fourth odds. That's that's not good. That's that's pretty bad. I'll be reach out. That's yeah. I'll be real with you guys. That is pretty awful. So those ones, I believe, are gonna be worth zero dollars. We got a Juan Soto. We got a. Casey Mize, we're speeding through these now, Patrick Wisdom, and Stuart Fairchild. Stuart Fairchild. Currently batting zero again. If these videos do well, or this video, I guess, does well, I think maybe I will do some more like this. Just let me know. Ooh, okay, here we go. Oh, it tricked me. Bowser, shh. Oh, my cat's knocking over my tripod. It tricked me. It was turned around. That's not fair. Dang. That's not fair, dude. Wow, okay. Well, maybe this one will have some good luck. I've forgotten the last one. When I said to give it good luck, did I get good luck? Like, did I get the Babe Ruth or the Jim Palmer? I don't remember. All right, here we go. Charlie Blackman. Ooh, a nice Lindor. But again, like we found out earlier, it's not that cool, but we'll still sleeve it. And we will um, sleeve it and top load it. And let's put that right there with the babe and the palmer all right and we're kind of uh reaching the end here and i haven't really found anything like obviously these are cool like they're sick like take a look at them but again they're not worth incredibly uh high price and yeah nothing else in here so we can just toss this box to the side and we're down to the final three. Final three. Come on, one autograph. One autograph. I believe a pink. Ooh. De La Cruz, is it? Is it? Oh, wow. Nope. Brian De La Cruz. Not Ellie. Nice. Way to go. Corey Seeger. Bowser, shh. We got the babe again. But I don't think this is worth anything, so. Bowser, what are you doing? Look at him. Anyways. Um, so that one was kind of a bust as well. We're down to the last two. Anyways, cat interrupted. Last two. Here we go. Oh, he's coming back. Here he comes.
All right. Ooh, here we go. 85. Yeah, 85 out of 99. <gasps> Ooh, that's a cool card. I like that. Carlos Delgado. Carlos Delgado. Ortiz and Nick Madrigal. All right, guys. We're down to one last pack. I don't believe I made my money back. That's fine, because this was fun to do. It's gambling for kids, but it makes for good content. And if this video pops off or does well, I think, don't quote me on this, and IRS, don't find me. I think I can use this as a tax write-off. We'll see. I think if somebody gives me a dollar, I can use it as a tax write-off. This should be a podcast, just like... Somebody, ooh, I think that's Votto. Joey Votto, yep. I think I should just make this a podcast where I just open a bunch of packs and see. All right, we got a Lindor. Same as that one. Ooh, we got a Brian Miller rookie card. Uh, nice diamond, but as we heard, it wasn't worth a lot or wasn't rare, I should say. But we're going to sleeve it. I didn't even sleeve the uh, parallel uh, Carlos Delgado. I wonder if that's going to come back to bite me. All right. Put him in the middle. Arenola and Joey Votto. So here is what we have. Um, honestly, wasn't too spectacular. I'm going to look through the ones that I think could be worth something. Uh, and then I'll come back with an estimated price, so I'll be back. Okay, so after doing my quick research on eBay and looking at the comps, it looks like if I were to sell everything for the median average, I would sell this whole lot right here, not these, for a total of $98.50, but that's being generous. But say I were to, I would have a profit of $9.50, which, you know what, isn't bad. I had fun. I'm sure I could sell this whole little lot for maybe 25 bucks so that's more i will take a look at those and update you guys later on if anything is good that comes out there but yeah so i think this was good for the last hurrah if you guys uh like this video make sure to like it follow subscribe whatever you want to do and uh i might make more videos like this remember one dollar equals one tax write-off so have a good day guys peace out